What's up, folks? Corpse here, and welcome back. And um, y'all know it's Minecraft. Y'all know it's PlayStation 4 edition. I'm gonna quit saying it, honestly. <laughs> no, that's just. I was getting into that habit, and I was just like, you know what? Everybody knows. You guys read the title. It's you know, it's the only thing I'm putting out right now, or one of the only things I'm putting out right now. You guys read the title. You know this is Minecraft. You know it's PlayStation edition. And um, so here we've got a lot of stuff to cover. This is actually take three of this video. Um, this is the third time I've tried to record it. And so, and each time I get interrupted to do something, and then I end up doing some other stuff. And then, so I have more and more to show you. So, here is our, the main structure of our windmill. Um, I was going for an aged look, obviously structure that's been around for a while maybe been reinforced a couple times um i went with these big heavy corners i wanted this thing to have weight you know to look at it and go ooh, that's a big heavy structure so i did these these corners i kind of like the way they can turned out I like the way they look um use different you know i use spruce and uh oak and then stairs and stuff like that to give it, you know, like I said, a, a, a weathered look. A structure that's been around for a while, but maybe been repaired a couple times. Um, for the roof, um, I used orange and regular terracotta to, again, make it look like something roof tiles were, were, uh, were aged, and then this is supposed to represent, if you've seen some really old buildings every once in a while, typically in towns and stuff like that, they'll have slate roofs, and they're usually whitewashed, um, or they can be whitewashed. So that's the, what this kind of represents. I used to live in a house many, many, many moons ago um, that had slate whitewashed tiles on the side as siding, uh, and they were actually slate it was, it was it was interesting okay so that's that done we need to work on do you think it'd be a windmill or water or water mill uh i'm not sure which at the moment because we could do either i could put a water wheel coming out here trim that down a little bit and then we could put a water wheel right there might look cool too i'll have to play around both in creative uh, and see which one I can get to look better. Um, okay. Several things over here. I have expanded the workshop, as you can see. And there's a reason I expanded the workshop. It was actually the reason I made this video's first attempt, actually. Um, side note, doing this, which looks like crap, I realize, um, does prevent the sheep from pushing themselves through the fence and escaping. Figured that out. Got more horses around this place you can shake a stick at. So we also have this. This is a obviously a another work farm. Yep. Piston activated. Hey. Oop. Missed one somewhere. It, that's the only problem with this, is that on occasion one will drop down in there. Um so this is a smart piston. And now, maybe if this recording will go through, I can actually seal this up. So, underneath there, uh, so the piston pushes this over. There's a redstone torch under there, activates this circuit, gives it just enough delay, so that that piston over there has retracted, and it pushes everything back into place. So, uh, this will generate more uh, nether wart than we'll ever need. Um, I'm not planning on doing hundreds of potions at a time. Although, you know what? I might, actually. Um, I might. If that's the case, we'll build a bigger farm. So, oh. Okay. Also, I have started naming some of our creatures. Went out. This is, uh, this is not our original dog. I actually tamed another dog. Uh, and his name is Ramsey. Um, we have a dog over here. Uh, our original puppy. I named him Trout. Jesus. Um, we got Trout. 
I've been doing some caving too off camera because I can't cave and talk on camera. And I did manage to find some. Um, actually, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I was working around the fortress, and I actually found a section of the fortress that I had not explored yet. So I was there. It's when I was there uh, looking for blazes to kill. We're gonna talk about that here in a minute. So I found some diamond horse armor. I started naming the horses too. So we got Charger. Um, he doesn't have a name yet. This is Corbin, and then the mule. I put underground over there uh, is Cyrus the Quick. Uh, yes, there's irony in that name because he's not quick. Um, then I built this. Uh, there are, I don't know if you can see him, there's string here. This is so we can get creatures in and out of the nether. Um, comes down here to the nether portal. Oh. Um, I'm thinking ahead. Because... Um, A, I'm going to want a horse in the nether for moving around. Because that's, that's how we're going to move around in the nether. Um, it's the easiest way. Uh, and B, we're eventually going to want to bring... Uh, villagers back over here. So I needed a way to get them up here. And that's a start. Um, because we are going to have to build an iron farm and have a village breeder around here somewhere. Uh, we'll figure that out. Okay. And animals keep spawning in here. Um, he doesn't have a name yet. He... He doesn't have a name yet. Oh, we've got pigs and stuff. It's funny because they spawn in here and they don't despawn because it's small enough to prevent them from despawning. Uh, I still need to look that up. I haven't found it yet. And then this has been working like a champ. Oh, excuse me. This has been working like a champ. Um. I don't know what we're going to do with it. And I actually ended up having to shut off the uh, sugarcane portion of this farm because it filled everything up completely. Um, I did turn it back on, though. Uh, and if I have tested the top, top works great. Uh, you don't, doesn't generate a lot, but I don't, that wasn't really the purpose of it, uh, was to generate a lot of stuff. Uh, it was more of a, hey, I wonder if I can work this out. Bit, and we're gonna wait for nighttime. We're gonna go to sleep, and then we're gonna talk about this thing. Obviously, this is a—I wouldn't call it a super smelter, but it is a more efficient version of smelting. And I'll explain it to you. Just because uh, I've done—I didn't base this on anything um, other than my own experiences. Um, this circuit here. It's an auto loader. You put stuff in here. You put whatever you need to smelt in here. The items obviously drop down to the hopper. Activate the comparator. You can see it. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, it works. Let's get up here and look at this. Okay. So, items get in the hopper, activate the imperator, fires up the repeater into the rest of the stuff, turns off the torch. So, if there are items in the hopper, the torch is off, and therefore, so is the powered rail. Back there is for... This is the fuel input. Now, we're not using a another auto loader and all that other stuff for fuel. Uh, just because A, I didn't have the space, B, the two mine carts going back and forth makes a lot of noise. Um, this does have a shutoff switch. Um, so when I'm not using it, I can turn it off and I don't have to listen to it. This is a fairly simple system. This will fairly evenly distribute items across here, um, which is kind of what we want. It's empty right now. But, and then, do we have anything? Can I clean that up? I clean that up, okay. 
And this here is all the items we're waiting for. Smelt it. Actually, I think this stuff. No, that's all the stuff that needs to be smelted. And I have coal in here, too, just so I can do some stuff if I want to. This is the amount of food we have right now. It's freaking insane. Um, that fish farm has gone. I've just gone nuts with it. So, this distributes the fuel. What I want to use is blaze rods. Um, so, since we have that dual blaze rod farm, blaze rods would be the ultimate source of fuel for this. Um, because we should be able to get AFK, I should be able to get massive amounts of blaze rods. Um, and spending time over that blaze farm. Uh, and I've also we went out caving a bunch because we need gold, because we're going to need powered rails. I need to see, we're going to use a rail system for moving the blazes to where we want them. So I need to see. A, if that system works in this version of Minecraft, pretty sure it will. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. So I need to look at the design, um, play with a little bit in creative, and see. But we need to go conquer that, uh, those blaze farms. But first, let me, let, me, let me finish with this here. So what I've done here is I've put non-smeltable items, or let me correct that, non-burnable items in these hoppers that lead into the the fuel part here. So stone shovels won't burn, so they won't go in. So it allows me to lock out four spots on each hopper, which just makes... Oh, 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 excuse me. Oh, there we go. Um, which just makes this system a little bit more fuel efficient to, f to fill it up. So we need two stacks per. So I need 16 stacks of blaze rods. We'll fill this system up. Um, and, it, you know, that's that. I, eventually the top will also fill up. So, I mean, so we get actually, you know, we put five extra stacks in here because... This will fill up, and then this will fill up, but this will... Actually, let me correct that. This will fill up, this furnace, and this hopper, and then this one, and this one, and all the way down the line. And then once this one is full, and this... This spot is full, then the top will start filling up. It makes it just a little bit easier for distributing the fuel rods. As, as, as it is. So, this is a nice, easy system. It was fairly, it was not cheap to build iron-wise because, you know, we have to go out and mine, on our, mine all our iron. So, it does use a lot of hoppers. But this is the most, I could have saved some hoppers had I put a minecart system here. I could have eliminated this row of hoppers. But again, I didn't want two minecarts running back and forth. I mean, I could have done it, I guess. But that's that's the only way that would make it a little bit more efficient. Um, but realistically, yeah, I guess it would because you would use... Um, yeah, this would have been one set of rails. You would have used six iron versus, you know, five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It would save me some iron, but not a whole heck of a lot. I mean, less than a stack, so I, I was fine with that. But, so this this will distribute things fairly evenly. Oh. It's not going to be a crazy fuel hog to get it filled up, or at least it's going to be better than normal. I mean, you figure, we got eight, eight of these bad boys, eight times four is the 32, 30, it's saving us 32 stacks by using those shovels. So, and then we have our little potion brewing system over here. Just a little teeny tiny automated thing. Uh, most of these are actually garnered from fishing. So that's been, I've been saving them. Um, and then we just put our items in here. They drop down in here. Uh, we do need more blaze powder. Um, speaking of that, when we went out to hunt blaze for blaze rods, 
I got a little confused because we were getting glowstone dust. I was like, huh? Well, it turns out, and I didn't know this, blazes drop glowstone dust as well as blaze rods. So we just got unlucky with those blazes we killed. That all of them were dropping glowstone dust. Um, I went back a little bit later, and I managed to get, like, five rods or something like that. So I made the brewing stand. Uh, we powered this puppy up. Um, I'm sorry. We powered this puppy up with the blaze powder, and we're Bob's your uncle. Um, we can now make... We can go get blaze rods, make blaze powder. We can make eyes of ender, because we're going to have to... I haven't stumbled across a... Uh, uh, a fortress yet, so... And I've been caving in the area, but the fortress doesn't necessarily have to be attached to a cave. It can be, it can be separate by itself. In my last Let's Play on PC, I was lucky because a fortress spawned in the ocean, and it was visible from the surface. So as I was riding by exploring, I found it. So I knew where it was the whole time. Um, now that we have potions, and we are pretty much fully geared up. I mean, protection for aqua affinity respiration on breaking, fire protection for, which is actually going to help us a lot with the blazes. And we saw that last time. Uh, unbreaking three, mending thorns, um, unbreaking three, protection four, protection four, depth strider, unbreaking feather falling. I mean, we're, we're set. Um, swords and weapons we got, we're good here, sharp is five, I mean, this is for, actually, this one here is for, uh, I'm trying to get the skeleton, the, the, the sniper achievement, or the sniper duel achievement, so I've been standing up on the roof, letting skeletons spawn, and then shooting them, and seeing if I can get it, it, it may not even be an achievement we can get, I think it is, but I'll have to look at it, and look at the specifics of it again, um, because you you have to kill it. It can't die from flame damage. So I, I made a bow that didn't have flame damage on it. And then for... I also made a bow for using in the nether with blazes because I was, all, all my other bows have punch two on them. And we were knocking the blazes way out of, way out of the park. So I made no punch, which is a flame one, unbreaking three, power five, infinity one bow. So no mending. And then we have flare, which is mending, unbreaking, power five, punch two, flame one. And this is our infinity regular bow, regular infinity bow, power punch, flame, unbreaking infinity. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, we have multiple bows to choose from. Oh, that's raw, so that needs to go over to the cook. Yeah, needs to go over here. So, we're, we're, we're clipping right along. Uh, we still got to finish this. I need to figure out if I'm going to do a windmill or a water mill. Um, we've got items. I've got a way to get people into the nether safely. Um, and next episode, I think I'm going to get geared up because I have been making potions. We got fire resistance potions. We got healing potions. We've got um, potions of swiftness, swiftness for Cyrus the Quick. Because he needs them. I actually need to make more. Uh, made a couple of potions of water breathing. We got a couple of flash potions of weakness if we happen to find some Zombert villagers. Um, and that easier because I did find a village. I have a path to it in the nether. Um... And we can get villagers there, but I'm going to have to use a rail system or something. Um, or maybe boats would work. I'll have to try that. See if boats would work. Um, it just depends on... Because I can put them in boats and then ferry them individually. Yeah, I could be able to do that. Um, I'll have to look into that. I'll have to take a boat next time I go to the nether and see if it'll wander across... Um, the netherrack. Oh, the other thing I did is I moved our portal up towards the roof. Um, so our portal in the nether is now actually up near the roof. Um, which, you know, makes things a little safer and we can start decorating up there. Um, 
we can do that. I still want to go over there and check this out, but I know that these guys are bad man pajamas. I've watched a couple of my YouTube sub subscriptions that I people I watch fight these guys, and they're pretty brutal. Uh, mainly Azuma. He's the only one I've ever seen who's really taken these people on. But, so, yeah, we got plenty of stuff going on here. I uh, actually need to make more Swift potions, I think. I guess I could do that. You know, they need to be splashed. Yeah, and I'm running out. Oh, and I guess I got some gunpowder. But, so the Blaze Farm uh, will help us with this. Um, if we wanted this to be more, more efficient, I could just expand it. Um, multiple rows, uh, multiple, you know, just all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I could have, you know, just, you know, three or four of these. Because basically what this does is this is eight times efficient. For every one item a normal uh, furnace would smell, this will do eight. So it works. So it works too bad for us. For us, it's fine. Uh, when we start getting into larger projects, I might build a better, a bigger super smelter. Um, but no, yeah. So uh, so we're we're clipping right along. We're finally at a place where I feel um feel pretty good about what we're doing and where we're at. And I've shown you this, so I can lock that up. I can. But, yeah, no, we're going to uh, get ready to go take on those blazes. I might bury some equipment over there. Um, we need to shut those blaze farms down. Um, or shut those spawners down and then go from there. Um, oh, I also started labeling everything. <laughs> That's I, even I was getting lost trying to figure out where everything was. Um... So I put I put item frames up. Won't cause me too much lag because it's just me. Oh god, I need to put those. Yeah. Oh, and I replaced this tree. I wanted a tree a little bit further back and a little bigger to kind of just add some. Just add something over there. Uh, it's a little. I might do some more like that. But, no, I think that's about it. That catches you guys up with everything that I've been working on. Um, we've been, uh, I've been a busy, busy bee. Done a lot of uh, caving. A lot of caving. Um, let's seal this up here. We don't need this open at all. Okay. Why does this... No, that is this not. Oh, it is. Okay. Oop. Oop. Yep. 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 Wow, that's loud. <laughs> I need to change that. So we loud. Uh, and there's our timer. So let's let's get this like this. So nothing spawnable over here. What I want. Um, and that's it. That's what, that's what I got. Everybody's all caught up. I'm all caught up. You're all caught up. And, um, yeah, I like the way that looks. I wish it was skinnier, actually. But, you know, we got to deal with that big old cobble monstrosity in there. And this hides it very well. Yeah, so either a windmill or a water mill. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. But, um, anyway. That's that, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And I will see you next time in Minecraft. This is Corp signing out. Bye now.